Agricultural buildings in Britain have traditionally served many purposes, but as more specialist buildings are being built, it's important to understand the ventilation needs of the new buildings, as well as the negative impact of an ineffective airflow. I'm joined by Richard Davis from Dairy Co. Richard, behind us um, we have what looks like a very airy building. What considerations would the producer have had before he built it? Okay, we need to first of all decide exactly what we're trying to achieve and, and that is uh, getting rid of excess heat, excess water vapour, uh, excess organisms and viruses from the building. We need an even distribution of air through the building and uh, the correct airspeed. To achieve this, we need to know the size of the building, the amount of livestock, the amount of animals that are in there, and the roof pitch. And we also, at the end of this, we need to get the whole thing to work in the most miserable, calmest October, November day when it's horrible and foggy out there. So that's what we're trying to achieve. As far as um, disease and production are concerned, we'll see considerable benefits in less uh, environmental problems. Uh, for example, mastitis, because you've got a, a drier atmosphere, uh, less damp. And the other thing is, is going to be, as far as the um, respiratory issues for cattle are concerned, that will also see an improvement. We can look at inlets and outlets on a building as well for ventilation, but is, aren't we just talking really about doors and, and windows? Well, it's, uh, it's a little bit more technical than, the, that, than that, but uh, you're absolutely right. It is trying to get the right balance of inlets to outlets. And to achieve this, we, we need to make some calculations. It's not a, a, a guess. We can do some uh, calculations to, to achieve this. And um, th there are some uh, ballpark figures, if you like, uh, for as far as the outlet is concerned. We, we can take for every three metres of, of building width, you can have five centimetres of uh, an outlet through the length of the building. So we have got uh, ballpark figures, but we can actually do proper um, measurements as well. So Richard, how important is um, the stack effect? And can you tell me what that is? Yeah, the stack effect is, is extremely important because it's working with, with nature, if you like, because we're working on the principle that uh, warm air uh, rises and in that warm air, when you've got livestock in the building, you've got all sorts of organisms and moisture and dampness and we need to um, get rid of that through the outlets in the roof. So the stack effect really is taking away, the, away this hot air and organisms as quickly as possible through that uh, roof vent. Richard, come and tell me what the smoke's doing. As you see, we've got a very traditional type of um, calf rearing building here, and the smoke is showing us the, uh, the uh, stack effect, and whereas we should be getting a good movement of air with air inlets, bring air in, and the uh, stale air should be ex uh, going through the outlets in, in the roof. But as we can see here, it's not, because we haven't got any outlets in the roof, so it's filling up the roof space, and then coming back down onto the calves. So you can imagine if there was some stale air, some viruses and bacteria in the air, they would be coming back down onto the calves before eventually finding its way out of the outlets. So what's the good news? So the good news for most farmers is that most buildings can achieve adequate ventilation without the need of uh, using mechanical means, which, uh, like this building we've got here, is achieving good ventilation um, naturally. That's all very well with the new building, Richard, but what about existing buildings or ones that are having a change of use? Yeah, they're, they're usually um, quite problematical and, and we're, first of all, we're looking for telltale signs. We're looking for uh, dust, the cobwebs, you can see traces of condensation where the uh, water's been running down the roof sheets and, and onto the animals. Hand in hand with uh, ventilation in, in calf housing, it's also critical to have good drainage because uh, a lot of moisture uh, from the bedding will add to the problem of moisture in the atmosphere and that in itself um, will lead to more issues and problems with disease. So if we can improve drainage and make everything we can to get rid of this moisture, it will be of great benefit to the atmosphere and the, and the animal.
Richard Davis from Dairy Co, thank you very much. And there's more information on the ventilation needs of animals in this Dairy Co publication and also more information on the Dairy Co website.